Hi guys, here we are, uh, north, I don't know, outside north, I've done somewhere, I don't even know to be honest. I literally followed the postcode and we arrived. So even though it's a decent sized garden, these guys have got a couple of little kids. Um, they just wanted to get a swing set, slide and ladder. They were trying to talk about the most cost effective way. And we're talking about towers and cost and all sorts of other bits. And I just said, look, why don't you just go for one of these? Um, and here we are. So we have a slide, rock, vertical rock wall on the end, ladder on the back, steering wheel handles, um, baby seat and a swing. This is all dug into the ground. Again, we'll have to leave the piles of turf there because they're going to backfill it and let the concrete dry, which you can just see that one's still wet. It's really chalky and kind of proper clay type soil around here. Um, so hopefully that water will drain off. Just give it three days, I normally tell people. Ladder on the back, it's built into the angle of the swing. That goes up and over. Not really much to say on this. It's the usual, usual strong design. Um, if anyone's looking at these thinking they're the same as, I don't know, Rebo or Plum or something, it's just completely different. So I'm two meters tall. And if I put my face there, so it's above my head. Normal Rebos, I think are 180. The deck there is 1.5 and that's 85 or 90 centimeters across. The rock wall is two meters high. It's a completely different product. This wood here is four inches by four inches. I mean, I've got big hands, I'm, a, I'm like two meters tall person. So it's a completely different product. When you start looking at these compared to the flat packs that you're buying online, you're basically buying three times a unit. It's higher, it's stronger, the wood is thicker, it's concreted, it's not just sat on the ground with some little dodgy pegs you hammer in. It's a proper lumper product. Um, this is gonna be probably twice, three times the weight of your flat pack ones that you're buying online and we do everything with an install. So even if you're looking at these and they come up to, you know, whatever price they would go come up to, you need to add install onto that and make the make the place at the same width. So this here, I did a Rebo just the other day, is literally twice the length of a Rebo. We've got a bigger distance between both swings. Both swings are separated a little bit further apart, which means that with heavy swinging, the kids don't zap and you don't get that sort of bounce back where the swing goes to sort of zero gravity. You just, it's a, as I say, it's a different product. If you want something strong, durable, let me know. I'll come build it for you. Only thing that you'll be left to do is after two or three days, just put the uh, mud back in the holes or as I just advised this client, you could round the holes off and put some pea gravel in. Um, which means you don't need to fly them around each pipe. You could put some compost in there, put some new t like top seal soil in, put some new seed on. You can do whatever you want to do to finish it, but that's the product in and um, and done. If you want anything, as I say, let us know. Peter, climbingframeinstaller.co.uk. Thank you.